She once posted a pig face on her blog with an image of the Prophet Muhammad, but Pamela Geller is not backing down from her speeches about radical Islam, even though some people are upset about her visit to Great Neck this Sunday. Mary Murphy picks up the story from here. If one little Jew can have a talk at a shul, on a Sunday morning, I think it speaks to just how bad things really are. Pamela Geller doesn't mince words. A blogger and author who first gained notoriety by protesting the building of a mega mosque near Ground Zero using multiple arguments. Yes, Hitler was inspired by Islam. Now taking her views on the Islamic code of Sharia to the Orthodox Great Neck Synagogue this Sunday. I oppose jihad. And I oppose the Sharia. The synagogue is no place for uh, hate speech. She put posters in the subways which compared uh, Muslims to, uh, to animals. Jerome Davidson is rabbi emeritus of a reformed temple not far from Great Neck Synagogue and asked the rabbi there to cancel Geller's appearance. I spoke to him uh, uh, a week or so ago to beg him because I'd received calls from the Muslim community. Rabbi Polakoff. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> When PIX11 traveled to the Great Neck Synagogue, Rabbi Dale Polakoff turned up in the hallway, refusing to answer questions about Geller, but agreeing to read the synagogue's official statement about her visit. Geller will be joined by the father of the late Marine, Gregory Buckley Jr. of Oceanside, who was killed by an Afghanistan police officer last August. We believe that it is important to hear what she has to say, and we are confident that intelligent and fair-minded individuals will consider her views in reaching their own conclusions. Geller has long received email threats from around the world, promising various punishments for her words. They are going to execute me, or they're going to shoot me, or they're going to bash my skull on the sidewalk. Geller cites recent slaughters of Coptic Christians in Egypt, a nation controlled now by an Islamist government. I believe that peaceful Muslims stand with me. But not all Jews do. The Anti-Defamation League, a prominent Jewish organization, issued a research report on Geller's group criticizing it, saying that it was consistently vilifying the Islamic faith under the guise of fighting radical Islam. What is their mission statement to attack other Jews? Rabbi Davidson says it's his mission to continue challenging Geller's visit to Great Neck. We must make certain that our Muslim friends and neighbors uh, are willing to uh, understand that we embrace them and we accept them as Americans. Geller told us she will be going with her usual team of armed guards when she speaks in Great Neck on Sunday. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.